have here is what's known as soup. Uh, seafood stock. Uh, I put some salt in there and some sage seasoning. And we have some carrots in here and potatoes. And now I'm putting a big chunk of these in there. <coughs> yeah, you like can see that. the massive amount of sage seasoning right there. Yeah. Um, and then parmesan. Putting a bunch of that in there. We got, you know, carrots, peas, corn. Bigger slices of baby carrot. Yep. Smells so good already. And then, um... Alright. So what this is, we got some tuna here. Some high quality tuna. And then we have seafood stock, but it's actually just, uh... Codfish. So... <laughs> well, cod liver oil is good for you, so that yeah, should be good for you. That should be pretty good for us, I guess. It's like huskies, though. It's dried codfish, and then apparently they grind it in, like... Uh, sifted into stock, so it's like what husky's like, you know? It's husky stew. Yeah, man. So, I guess we're making some uh, husky stew. <clears throat> That's what we'll call it. Uh, do you want any grain in it, or are we good? Hmm. Any I type of grain? I was thinking what we would do is throw some of these chips in. See these chips? Oh, uh, okay. Chia, flax, millet, quinoa, amaranth. Yeah. Anyways, I'll throw some of these in when it's nearly done, and then they'll be like tortilla stew, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And so, the only thing I have left to do is take my uh, hyssop, my granny real quick, put it in there, and then we'll get it cooking. What's cooking good looking? Mm. Alright, the primary flavoring here is Parmesan, so the other stuff's just a backup. Of course, gonna... hyssop's really nice uh, additional flavor to any sort of meal. Yeah, I just really like it. It's a nice one. Okay, we'll put it on the burner now. Stir it up and get it heated. Ooh, can I stir it? Yeah. If you really want to get bold, uh, it's you can do a um bean and fish stew, but you gotta really be careful with that. What you want to do with a bean and fish stew is actually have like chunks of fish and then like, you know, your beans and you prepare them a certain way. I'll do one of those someday. It's it's too advanced for to explain without doing. So yeah, here's your spoon. I'll take that, I guess. Pretty special, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We got big chunks of fish there tumbling around. You see all the peas and corn? Well, that's uh, more peas and corn, and uh, I forget what's in that bird, this, this bird. Well, let me look. It was a sunshine burger. Um, it was made out of, there you go. Rice. Oh, yeah. There's a few green beans in this mix. Too. Brown rice, sunflower seeds, carrots, chives, sea salt. There you go. There's a few green beans in this too. Oh yeah, because I put a mix of yeah peas, corn, Just so and green if you want to recreate it directly. Yeah, there was a mix of summer medley vegetables. Yeah, but I did not put any cauliflower or uh, broccoli or squash. Or, um, bell pepper, because I don't like any of those in this. Oh, it's pretty well mixed now. There's a tiny bit of tomato in the uh, seafood stock, so that's uh, not much, but there you go. Yep. I guess we'll let it cook now, and I'll put it down to a more reasonable temperature. All right. All right, so here's the finished product the next day. 
We got those chunkies of uh, the tuna from the packets in there. I, didn't, I tried not to break it up on purpose, so there's still chunks. And uh, it's got that nice flavoring from the uh, burgers. Oh, yeah, yeah. There. There's rice and different things in those a little bit. Some yeah. Herbs. And so that kind of dissolved in there nicely. And we did different size of potatoes, little potatoes, so kind of get creamy and break up as it was cooked. And then bigger ones, like on my spoon, to yeah. hold their shape. I did about the right amount of Parmesan, I think. The fish soup smells real fishy, but then when you taste it, it's not as strong as you think at all. It's pretty good. What really matters is the next day taste. It's even better than the next day. Oh, yeah. Like, I like split pea soup when it turns to jello overnight and then you put it on, on hot toast. But, like, this is pretty good, too. It's right up there. Uh, that's the way to do it, I think. I like it. I thought that it could use even more spices next time, but that's just me. Yeah, I'm gonna put more spices. Next the fish time. flavor kind of overwhelms it to where when it balances out, it really balances out. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting how when you cook it with the parmesan, it uh, disguises it too. Just everything meshes and melts into a delicious culinary masterpiece. Fantastico.